Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a repeated measures analysis of variance. If you have one IV, more than two groups, what I'm calling a one-way repeated measures in our studio. So we have the same subjects are appearing in each of our groups. In this case, I have three groups. And so the first thing you want to do is use an editor to create your data file. Uh, you can use Excel. It's a convenient, easy way to do this. So you're going to have a sub ID column and you'll see that we have our first subject 101 is measured three different times, hence the repeated measures, 103, 104, and so on. These are our different subjects. So each subject here is measured three different times, hence the one way repeated measures. We have a IV that we're calling stem here. It has three levels, match, OS, and unprimed. These are just three fictitious groups here that I have created. Uh, you'll notice that everything is in all caps. I just do that because it's a lot simpler in our studio when you're typing in variable names, etc. Sometimes you can run into problems because our studio is case sensitive. Then, of course, we have our dependent variable. So you can see that 101 was measured and match and OS and on prime conditions, 103 was measured and so on. So that this is how we want our data organized uh, for our studio. So when you get it like this, you're going to go to File, Save As, and you're going to save it in Excel as a comma delimited CSV file. So select the CSV comma delimited plain CSV text. There's a couple other CSV options. You want this one to avoid any problems importing into our studio. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to import our data into our studio. We can go over here to Import Data Set, or we could go to File, Import Data Set from TextBase. Then we're just going to navigate to the file. I'm selecting the file that I created. Now you're going to get this pop-up window. This pop-up window first is going to ask you for a name of your data frame. You use a very short name because you'll be using this in your commands. You have a couple other switches here. I go over all of this in a different video. You have your input file listed over here so make sure that it looks right to you that you're importing the right file. You want to have your strings as factors checked here and then it's going to show you your your output data frame, what it will look like. Everything's looking good. So we're gonna click import. And then here's our data frame right here. Looking good, everything's looking great. So now we're ready to do, the data's in our studio. now we're ready to do the analysis of variance. So what you wanna do is you want to first load up this package that makes analysis of variance really easy it's called AFX so you may have to go here and install our packages and install AFX if it's not on your computer which it probably isn't unless you've installed it if you have installed it like I have you still have to check it before you can use it and when you check it you'll see that uh, the library AFX command is entered on your behalf you could also just enter this command to load it and then it loads up the package now we can make use of the commands in that package to do the analysis of variance Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a variable to hold the outcome of the analysis of variance. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it AOV1 for our analysis of variance one. And then we're gonna use this AOVEZ command. This is from the AFX package and uh, it allows really easy analysis of variance, hence the name. So we're gonna first input our sub ID. So this it uses it to group our um, subjects so it can form subject variability and then we're going to enter our dependent variable which was called uh, prop we're going to enter the data frame so name so it's data one so it should match your data frame name that you have up here and then we're going to tell it that we have a within subjects IV and uh, you see parentheses and then the IV is stem so it's going to group our data according to this IV. That's it for the command. Pretty simple. You press enter uh, and it's going to run. So it ran and it created a up here. You don't see anything in the console, but you created this variable up here, AOV1, which is the outcome of the analysis of variance. So we can't see it. So in order to see it, there's two things you can do. I'll show you both things. So you can just type AOV1 and you'll see the output of it. So here we have our deep in a variable. We have our stem. We have our um, degrees of freedom, mean square error, F value, effect size, and P value. So that's one way to do it. The other way you can do it is you can type this nice command. It just cleans up your 
data a little bit. We're going to see the nice AOV1 is the outcome of that. We're going to apply, or we're going to, rather, we're going to have it tell us um, effect size of partial eta squared. Uh, so we use PES. Sorry, I think this is going to be double quotes. PES. Um, and then we apply a correction. We can apply a geyser greenhouse correction, which I use all the time. And then if we want to uh, make it look a little cleaner, we can suppress the mean square error, we can just type false, and then it'll suppress the mean square error. If you want it, you just leave that command out. Uh, and there you go, you sort of see the uh, corrected degrees of freedom again, all of your output here in the window. So that's all there is to it. It's very simple. Uh, if you like this video, hit like, uh, subscribe. If you want more videos like this, uh, just let me know. But thanks for watching.